Welcome back to the Howard Homestead. We sure are loving this weather. It's nice out today. I think the high is going to be around 72. Uh, it's a bit overcast and that's okay. That means it's just, you know, that much nicer. So um, today I'm going to work on a little project that I've been putting off for a while. Um, there's another project behind me that, yeah, that that's part of the chicken coop and uh, it's, it's on hold for the moment. Unfortunately, all that cement back there has probably uh, been destroyed by the rains that we've had. But anyway, uh, a while back I bought a super cute bench at an auction and so I'm going to check it out, hope all the parts are there, and uh, see if I can get it put together. Yes, I read the instructions, or in this case, look at the pictures. First leg, check. Second leg, check. Bench seat, check. Two braces, check. Now for the hardware. Where's the hardware? Of course, there's no hardware. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot and get some screws and put this project off for another day. I was watching that video I sent you. She was getting hand supporters of how they you make your videos better. <laughs> sure enough, what you said it was. She pointed it out on it. Daryl and I took advantage of the day off and made a trip over to Tractor Supply to get stocked up on feed for all the animals and uh, see what other cool things we could find. Is there anything we're interested in here? There's green bell peppers. We ended up getting the green bell peppers and a hanging pot of strawberries. We also ran into a friend who has a couple of mini horses that she uses for therapy animals. One of these days we'll introduce you to them and to her. Cleaning out the goat pen is never a fun job, but it's something that has to be done. <laughs> the cooler weather we're having right now makes it a little bit more bearable. And the new wagon that we got makes it a whole lot easier to haul out the waste. Believe it or not, the used shavings don't go in the garbage. Instead, we haul them out to other areas on the property where they have a second life. We take it out to various trees and plants around the property and just put it at the base. The bunnies come and pat it down and you know make it nice and flat, take whatever they want out of there and whatever's left makes a good fertilizer and helps the trees and plants grow. After several trips back and forth with the wagon, emptying it and refilling it up and emptying it again, it's time to put out the new shavings.
once the pen was all clean, it was time to put out some fresh Timothy grass, give them some fresh pellets, and uh, just kind of rearrange things a little bit. It will stay looking nice for, oh, maybe about five minutes or so. with goats. Whew. Now I'm ready for dinner. Here's a new segment to show some of the fun things we catch on our security cameras. Maya is our seven month old puppy and she has tons of energy. So Daryl takes her out on the golf cart. Actually he's in the golf cart and she runs alongside of him and uh, he wears her out that way. Let's take a look at that again. After a few rounds of going back and forth, she's definitely tuckered out. Well, I couldn't let today go by without wishing Diamond a very happy first birthday. Diamond was the first baby goat we had born on our farm, and we just couldn't love her anymore. Happy birthday, Diamond! In the last video, I mentioned that I was wanting to try to get healthy and uh, that I was going to take some different steps to try to improve my health. Well, one of those things I did this week was I made my own dehydrated apples. All right, here we are at the two hour mark. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, looking good. Mm. Let's see. Take one and try it. Still tasty. Still has some moisture in there. We'll let it go and finish. The end result was quite tasty, although not exactly what I was expecting. But they were good nonetheless, and they helped me to lose two pounds this week. We're having movie night with the goats on February 10th. That's a Saturday night at 5.30. We're going to have dinner around 5.30 and then we'll start the movie whenever it gets dark, maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock or so. Um, if you'd like to come, we'd love to have you. Just send an email to howardhomesteadaj at gmail.com and uh, give me your name, address, and phone number as well as the number of people who will be attending and uh, I'll respond with my address. The movie will be a classic love story that's suitable for all ages, so feel free to bring your kids and grandkids. Invite your friends and neighbors as well. I'm trying to decide if we're going to watch The Princess Bride or The Little Rascals. So you can help me decide by putting your vote in the comments. Just tell me which movie you would rather watch, The Princess Bride or The Little Rascals. Admission is free and there is no cost to watch the movie, um, but dinner will have a $5 charge and we'll also have some various Howard Homestead merchandise as well as Modaz Creations merchandise available for sale. So um, if you're wanting to come, please make sure you send an email and we can't wait to see you there. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The answer to last week's trivia question was Bruce. Congratulations, Randy, you're the winner. Daryl will get your prize to you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please make sure you like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos.